Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Harachak, Wadash, double honor, speaking to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well and tell us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, O fool, like that the Bishnat, this word of thought, truth, and sincerity to all you walk in my do say Shalom. I am the Akira. I'm coming in with the quick lesson, piggybacking off a quote which reads, Never engage in a battle of wits with an unarmed person. And I was meditating on that the other day, to never engage, you know, uh, in a battle of wits with, with an unarmed person. An unarmed person being anybody you encounter in your day-to-day -day that ain't of the elect or ain't of the brotherhood. And that word wits... Basically means mental sharpness, intelligence, knowledge, and understanding. You know, and the majority of our people you meet today are a bunch of fucknuts that like that power, man. You know, that's one thing to know. Is it's written in the book of Hosea, the fourth chapter, verse six. And it does read, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And one thing Jake would do back in the day a, uh, would be to remark the servants of prophets, man. A, they would be out there constantly signing and crying for the abominations thereof. You know, point out the wickedness going on, proclaim your iniquities, and plead for you to do right, less so and so before you. But one thing you would do is mock and scoff. And eventually you put those men to death, man. You know, now you had blood on your hands. You have blood on your heads, hands, heads man. You know, so that's one form of rejecting knowledge, and that is a form of rejecting knowledge. You know, hey, so a lot of you people these days, hey, you guys didn't grow up with this word because the Lord, the Lord, you know, cursed you. The Lord put you in a captivity, and generations passed by, and you start trickling down, forgetting everything from the Lord. Now you're just some dry sponge, right? Now you're just some. Random ass person on the block with, you know, no remark for their, what's it called? No, no idea, no recognition of their heritage, their identity, their, their Lord power, things of like that. So you're just a random ass person now. You know, but with that, you know, you're wicked. All right, you, monkey, you see, monkey, do you grew up, you know, doing whatever else is doing. And especially in this captivity, Babylon the Great, everything is backwards and wickedness to the bone. That's what you do, man. All right, so you guys are a bunch of fuck nuts, man. Look, look at L.A. Look at all these cities with all these crackheads. You know, majority of those are Jake. You know, but going back, uh, to never engage in the battle of the wits with an armed person. You want to keep this in mind. You know, when you're your day to day encounters, man, like when you're teaching out there, especially if you're solo. You know, you gotta be a few words, man, because anything can pop off, right? So this is the book of Sight, right? The 32nd chapter, we're saying it reads. All right. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words, be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth to say this tongue. And that also stands when you're out there teaching because there's been instances, and even with, us, our, with ourselves as well, we catch ourselves just rambling and rambling and rambling and only like one priest of like, was spoken like 10 minutes ago. Meanwhile, you're going on to a completely different topic and you're just speaking. Well, one thing I know is that you're supposed to filter out everything you say with the precepts. So you want, you want to, you want to, what's it called? Read the precepts a lot more than just rambling, right? And that's why we always say, Salakia, yeah, excuse me for rambling and things of that sort. So that even stands in itself when it comes to teaching to let thy speech be short and comprehending much in few words. You want to, you want to, What's it called? Shorting it down but make it make sense. You know, but also just in general, you know, uh, you don't want to provoke anybody to wrath. All right. You know, actually, this principle stands for many things. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to speak much in the, in the, in the side of elders. All right, you don't want to speak much in, 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 like, when you're not teaching. You know, that, that, that brings attention to you. Right. So that, 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 that generally stands for itself. But, you know, going back off this quote, you want to be a few words. You don't want to, you know, provoke anybody to anger. Because all the great men of old, you know, 
you know, what's it called? Leaders, the elders, and apostles. They've had their fair share of shit talking, you know, when they were young. It's not wise to do so, more so now, you know, in 2024. All right. You know, and those men admit their mistakes, right? Because when you're young, wisdom is low. And right now, wisdom is low for us young people, too. Which is why we have the elders and apostles set up as our leaders to direct us and, you know, um, prevent us from, you know, doing what they did when they were young. Right? Job 12 and 12, with the ancient as wisdom and in like the day's understanding, you start to understand and get a chunk of every, you know, you start to learn every day. Now, of course, we're waiting for the spiritual body as well. We'll have all the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But right now, we can get what we receive. And that's get it for us right now. All right, so you don't want to be shit-talking badly, man. Hey, just get it done. If uh, they provoke you, they want to incite anything, want to instigate a... Uh, Tell them to back off. And you know, you hold about this out, Lord be with you and you know, cast them away from you. You know? Especially in the fact that one of the last little human days you wanna make sure, you know, you're you you're protected. You set up those protection prayers, things of that sort. Alright. Yeah, because so uh my this is by I thought it's written in the scriptures, uh a thousand years be a day in the Lord's eyes. We're talking about last little human days, man. Like, this is the end of the end of the end of the end. You know, who knows? This could be the last year. Yeah, how well, that is. You know, but with that being said, people are waxing worse. And why? Because the Lord is making way for Jacob's trouble. And, you know, we're waiting for all this, you know, shit to pop off, man. And we have to go to the birth pain as it's written. You know, uh, or not. I'm not sure that's been birth pains. I believe it is. I forget to lock you. But you got to go through the birth pains as Yakima was going into before, you know, we received the kingdom and, you know, all the blessings and righteousness and et cetera for the people of Israel. But anyways, uh, continuing on with the lesson. I'm going to get the book of Proverbs, the ninth chapter, verse 7. He that reproveth, wish that were to reprove, means. Fuck what Shabba with me. Reprimand, reprimand. And to reprimand means to rebuke, right? And one thing people hate is rebuke. So he that reproveth the scorn and getteth, into, getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh the wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorn unless he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Hey, you see that? So, you know, it could be some random ass Jake, you know, clown, you know, crackhead. You know, it comes over here, you know, what's it called? Uh, wanting to threaten you. But instead, you know. Uh, Lord puts the, the spirit upon him with patience, and he just stands there, and you know you can see him profusely getting upset, but you know he's just you know holding it in while having to listen to you, and then eventually he breaks after you after you you trigger him with a precept, you know because uh th these precepts are triggering. One thing I know is that we're not to spare not, or cry a lot and spare not right when we're not to regard your emotions. But eventually, you say there's a scenario yeah, that pe yeah that random crackhead. You know, they break all of a sudden. You know, uh now now they're ready to you know, now now they have the nerve to kill you, right, man? You know, like, what what what'd you tell me? What you tell me? And I don't give a damn and uh, whatnot. I don't give a fucking what we know we know how Jake is. So, you know, that that whomever man will will, will hate you and, and have the nerve to kill you, man. Which is why you have to be aware. Uh if I can get a quick piece of doubt, this is the book of Let's see, Asicus, chapter 9, 
Verse 13, keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, as near as thou canst, guess at thy neighbor. Uh, yeah. And consult with the wise. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. And one thing, you know, not me myself would suggest, but in general, one thing to suggest is to uh, just watch, just just watch how you phrase things, man. You know, no sure cussing ain't bad. You know, and sometimes the spirit puts upon is upon you to uh, <clears throat> express things in in an angry manner. But you have to be circumspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This in every situation, man. It's a time and place for everything. You know, it is a man trying to kill you. You know, because he, he hates what you're doing. He hates what you're teaching. You know, don't provoke him. Don't be like, hey, fuck you. And uh, let, let, let's, let's let, meet me over at the corner at like after this camp. You know, you're not going to do any of that, man. Are right, you going to... One thing uh, people do during surgery, or at least... uh. Surgeons do during surgery or nurses or whomever, whatever medical medical personnel do is that when somebody wakes up from uh from the anesthesia, you know, and they're moving, they're moving, uh, you know, they're twitching, they're talking. The medical pr personnel, you know, they they ease the 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 people being worked on. They ease the patients. You know, they they, they speak in a they speak in a soothing, quiet voice. Right. And we're to be harmless as doves. Harmless as doves, right? And why the serpents? We're not here to, you know, get down with any J, man. So just, just, you know, ease the situation, man. Calm them down and tell them to get the fuck out. Well, not like that, but you know, tell them uh, to leave their, to leave your presence. You know, uh, Proverbs the twenty seventh chapter verse twelve: A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, a game of think and do, you know, uh, be, you know, what's it called? Uh, think before you act that old phrase you would hear a lot, you know, so you got to plan and you got to, what's it called? Foresee what could happen, any possibility before you act on it, because, you know, uh, it's like a butterfly effect. Anything can stem from an action and anything does stem from an action, <clears throat> you know, just basic common sense. You know, just be uh, aware where you speak, how you phrase things in those situations with, with, you know, those random crackheads. You know, but, you know, just if you teach someone new and they can't receive this truth after several times, you know, cut them out completely, man. All right, fuck them. All right, that's in the book of Titus. I'm not mistaken. It went into how uh, they re actually never get that out if I can find it. Titus the third chapter verse ten. A man, a man that is near to get to the first and second admin, admonition reject. Right, so you gotta cut them out completely, man. Forget them, and because it's ain't for them. You know, it's a fulfillment of Isaiah the sixth chapter verse nine to twelve, where it goes into how, you know, the Lord, you know, the Lord will will will, what's it called? Put a uh, what's it called? Well, not at them here, basically, right. It's a stumbling lock for them to to understand this word. So you know, continue to direct this truth first and foremost to the elect, because that's whom is mentally, that's whom is first mentally for, that's whom is first meant for. Firstly meant for. Uh, John the tenth chapter, verse twenty seven. You know, if I can add on, you know, it's meant for the elect first and foremost, though it's directed unto the nation of Israel. And that's why the Yaakim always record themselves and post it on a YouTube, not only for the sake of people later on encountering that video and seeing it and getting that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, but it's pointed to the elect that already are already in the know, man. You know, the Yaakim that are already subscribed. And yet, throughout the highways and hedges, just in case somebody may 
what's it called? Uh, they bought onto the food. But this is the book of John, the 10th chapter, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Yeah, you know, yeah, because it is a spirit that, what's it called, grant you this thing, and the, the, the Lord could, you know, take it away from you. Yeah, if you're the elect, hey, you know, nothing can bring you down. They say you can't deceive you now, that man. All right. And Lord will, that is the case, man. But just want to do a quick lesson, picking off that quote, piggybacking off of that quote, never engage in a battle of wits with an unarmed person. Hopefully it was edifying to the next one I do say shalom.